first. What's the weather doing? Oh yes, to celebrate the Met's office 170th birthday. Please, welcome to the show for icons of the weather world. Yes indeed, ITV's first ever weather girl is Hilary Langford! Yeah. Yes, Hilary! Uh, TVAM Golden Girl, uh, Rika Johnson! TV's longest serving weather presenter, it's Granada's Emma Jessen! Yeah. I'm loving this! And waking us up with a forecast every morning, GMB's Laura Durbin! Yeah. Oh. Every entrance should be like this. Every oh, day. Every single day. <laughs> Spectacular <Including> you. stuff. <laughs> Before we sit down and talk to you, uh, let's have a, our own little celebration at the Met Office. You can put the microphone down. Oh, I, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> we are celebrating women in weather, the weather girls. Hello and good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. A very good afternoon. Very good evening to you. Good evening. It's a gorgeous start. Lots of fine sunshine around. Well, look at it. A bitterly cold day out there today. And it's feeling very cold. Here's the satellite then. But a windy one. <laughs> then tomorrow, well, most of us should see some sunshine. The temperatures well above where they should be for the time of year. Well, it's a mild old night. I pressure over it. <laughs> but this is going to disappear. We'll, of course, keep you posted. Temperatures on the modest side. Just lingering on. It's no laughing matter this hard. It's cloudy, it's blustery. It will feel sub-zero, so make sure you add those extra layers today. That's all for me. I'll be here again with the weather tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and thanks to the boys from Pineapple uh, Dance Studios yeah, as they well. Yeah, they were so there good. They there they are. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Who appear to have taken up residency. <laughs> Make yourselves at home, boys. Going anywhere. Got a bit of honey and lemon there. Look yourselves out. <laughs> the same for the Valentine's meal. Love <laughs> 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 shit, shit, Steve. Listen, thank you so much, lady. I love the way we're all like literally. <laughs> we got the men. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary. Lovely. It's so lovely to meet you all. Hillary, let's start with you. You were Britain's first ever weather woman. So how did the job come about? The job came about because I, my very best friend at school. Her father was the programme controller of Tainty's Television. And he asked me one day, would I like to appear on a new item that they were putting into Northeast Newsview, yeah. the daily programme? Yeah. And I thought about it for two seconds and said <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so and what was the first <clears throat> weather broadcast like? I mean, how much information were you given? How much did you... Well, when I, two days after this conversation, the producer phoned me up and said, would I go to the studios at four o'clock? I went to the studios, four o'clock, and they gave me a little script with the weather. And then they sent me to makeup, and then they sent me to wardrobe, and then they sent me to the studio, and before I knew it, I was live on air. <laughs> no rehearsal, really? nothing. It was absolutely yeah. terrifying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's 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 and, and that's how they did it in 1966. <laughs> what was you expected to wear, Hillary? Well, I used to wear clothes for the weather. So if it was sunny, I wore my sunny, you know, sundress type yeah. thing and skirts, tops and normal sort of clothing. Um, and when it rained, I used to wear Max and I had a very special <laughs> Max. <In> um, gold. <laughs> it was gold, it was shiny, shiny and I loved this <laughs> Mac. But of course, nobody could see the colours because it was all in black and white. Yeah. Yeah. So That's nobody ever saw my beautiful shiny coat. Mac. <laughs> and it didn't always go smoothly for you, did it, Hilary? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the, the lamps in the studio were very, very hot in those days. And every time I stuck one of my magnetic <laughs> thingies onto the chart, they used to fall off. <laughs> and the first time it happened, I was thinking, shall I pick it up or shall I leave it there? And I'm still trying to do the weather. Anyway, 
I got through that, and I used it kept to love when they used to stick yeah. the, thing, the, the, the clouds on and the rain on. Yes, yes. I love yes. All that. Yes. It's... Oh, what a wonderful life! What a long life. And Eureka, <laughs> let's you. You were going back to the eighties. I remember you were my weather girl, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Weather, personal, personal launched, weather completely, <laughs> yeah, my personal uh, weather completely launched your career, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did. I was uh, about twenty-one at the time, and I'd been working as a secretary for the television company. Done some auditions to become a children's TV presenter. Didn't go too well. Played my guitar, and, <laughs> and then oh, I'd love to. say no more. Uh, and then did a, a weather audition, which was pretty awful. And then they asked me to come back and do another one. I spent three months sort of going to the London uh, Weather Centre, just learning about the weather, which I then became slightly obsessed with. Oh, I with. bet you did, did yeah. You? I, I know, suddenly you go, like, weather. And then it was just like, oh, my God, this yeah, but is we, forget, we talk that. about it every day. I know. Like, you get up to the first thing you do when you, yeah. when you draw back the curtains. And it's such a big thing for the British people. It's yeah. massive. Yeah. Like, it's you, you can't pass anybody without talking about the weather. So, but yeah. it, it, it was, it was kind of, you were the first kind of era of, the, of, of the, where the weather would take you because you ended up doing so many other things off the back of it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess I was sort of lucky. I took a punt on a show which, well, nobody knew what was going to happen with it. It was called Gladiators. I watched so... it every weekend. <laughs> and it died a death and yes, we never heard of it again. <laughs> what Very was sad. that about? Yeah, no, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a funny thing. But we, when, when I was doing the weather, it was talking about what you were wearing. Yes. It was, yes. We had a boss who believed in eternal sunshine, so we had to wear <laughs> bright pink, bright yellow... No matter what? Encouraged to go on some beds, have shoulder pads <laughs> and bouffant hair. Yeah. We would all be sacked today, like wearing <laughs> these colours. So, yeah. But the press was obsessed with you. I remember at the time, that was the first time it blew up in the press. Yeah. They were literally, it was just headlines about you all the time, wasn't it? I think it was probably just because also I was Swedish and blonde. Yeah. That was quite unusual. Mm. But other than that, yeah. And Massive. Emma, you are ITV's longest serving weather host. Yeah. It's so lovely you said longest serving, not oldest. <laughs> longest no, serving. Thank you for that distinction. I'm loving that. I, st I was a fetus when I started, yes. So how has, <laughs> it, how has it changed since uh, when you first started? Oh, gosh. Well, it's... People say to me, how have you done the same job for so long? Mm -hmm. But it's never been right. the same job yeah, for 32 yeah. years. It's constantly evolved yeah. yourself, shooting self, editing, setting up your own research and, you know, news features yeah. and things like that. And to be honest, I mean, it's fantastic to be here today, to be... What a wonderful time to be celebrated as women yeah, in weather, great. when there's a lot of doom and gloom around. But we're part of everybody's families yeah. out there, in, you know, in, in, in the viewer land. And actually, mm. you know, we're part of the viewers' families. They reach out to us, they send us their weather photos, so we get to know them, and it's also... it's lovely forming that bond through the screen. And to be honest, I mean, everybody only watches the news to get to the weather, don't they, yeah. really? <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> why we do that. If my head of news is watching, I'm so sorry, Lucy. I, so yeah, glittering career, right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's over and done with. You know. But it's that trust, isn't it, Emma? We it trust is, yeah. you, and I suppose that's a big responsibility to, it's true. to have on your shoulders, yeah, really. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you can get the weather off a weather app, but you don't know where that's come from. People trust us, you know, they see you, yeah. and the whole of ITV is one big family. whole of ITV weather, you know, we're, we work with each other all the time, and we welcome, oh, you yeah. know, former weather girls back into the fold <laughs> as well, Hilary and Ulrika here. We're all still together and still, still as one. And they do, it's a trust thing. Um, it's great to be the first to know what's going on. Yeah. Um, it's really enjoyable bu building that friendship and trust through the screen. People do feel like they're a friend. They wait for us when we finish um, to say goodnight and they won't go to bed until they've seen that final sign off. And yeah, the challenges now of communicating climate change without scaring people. Yeah. Again, they trust us to bring the right story through. And the most recent thing I've enjoyed is, is mentoring new blood that's coming up through the ranks. And my most recent mentee, Lily Carter, has just yes, bagged a job at ITV Channel. Yes. Lily, yes, it's an annual here in the future. Yeah, so. Oh, it's a great job. Like Laura, so what about you? I mean, you're sort of bringing us up to date. So how, how has it changed for you over the time? I mean, it's like, you know, it touched on the climate change aspect yeah. of it. So I think for all of us, we love weather. So I fell in love with weather when I was 14, when my geography teacher said, we're going to line the girls up in a straight line and the boys in a straight line, and you have to run to the other side of the room, pushing into each other. And by the time we got to the other side, we were a wiggly line. And he said, that is how the jet stream works. Warm <gasps> oh, air, cold air, wind and rain. What a great teacher. And so that good. day, I phoned the Met Office <laughs> yeah. and said, Seriously? how do I become a weather forecaster? So I did the right A-levels and the right degree to... I just love weather. I didn't actually want to be a, a weather presenter. I just love weather. 
I love weather and talking. And, and they, come, <laughs> they come together. You look down and well, what job can I do? Uh, I mean... well, like, you know, it's a really complicated science. We have the most powerful supercomputer in the world processing our weather. It does hundreds of quadrillion calculations a second. And we have to make it interesting and short and concise. Mm. And so that is the key part of what we have to do in a, in a topic that everybody loves to talk about every day. And yet, what? Yeah. What's the... What's the... What's the range, like five days, something like that? I mean, so it's... our five-day forecast now is as accurate as our two-day forecast was 25 years ago. Oh, wow. Oh. So the, the increase in our ability to forecast is huge. But as you said, it, it used to just be weather forecasting, hot, cold, wet, dry, do I need an umbrella, can I stick my washing out? But now it's extreme weather. This week I've been talking about the flooding in LA, we talk about climate change, and actually, for me, it's about bringing science to people, yeah. and I love it if people go, and you're why is it wet today? Why are you, yeah. You're doing a lot in schools and going into schools and inspiring young people, but they are our future, aren't they? Like Lily, she, they are our future, aren't they? And that's, I think, about my daughter, Charlotte, who's six, and a trip to Svalbard and how the Arctic's changing, and I want everything to stay the same as for her, and I go to lots of schools, and lots of us do, to talk about weather and climate and science and what people can do to make a difference to help save the planet. Exactly, we know it's yeah. not an exact science, and it is an exact science. I mean, just, you know, to present live weather weather uh, takes a special skill and, you know, someone very close to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know if you, we have it now. Oh, I remember we, we no, I don't think back. we've got it. I don't think we've got <laughs> that footage. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. No, we definitely... <laughs> oh, my God. We didn't have that right. footage. Same I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God, you were right. I will not be... Uh, <laughs> I think it's safe <laughs> to say I won't be doing the weather again. Even <laughs> though <laughs> she burnt the film, <laughs> it's still <laughs> somehow... <laughs> it's the best things ever. one of the most frightening moments of my life, if I'm honest the egg. I thought he was going to drown <laughs> <laughs> on live TV. I was going to literally jump in. So that we used to get our weather forecast, not from the Met Office, from RAF Bulmer and Annick. Really? Oh. Yes, I used to ring them up every day and they used to produce the weather forecast. Wow. Yeah. Well, ladies, I think I was you. a bit of a trailblazer, really, when I think about <laughs> it. Well, you were. Oh, thank you for your service. years all of ago you. it was. Amazing. 1966. Mm. Yes. Wow. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Before you were thank born. You. Before we were born. Before you were born. <laughs> I'm 80 next week. Uh, oh, <laughs> happy birthday for next week. Hillary. Happy birthday for next Come on, Thank you. Give it up. Thank you. Good <laughs> Eight years old next week. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, All right.